Well, hey, hey, welcome to Doc Tales, which actually is not the real Doc Tales. Yeah. We're here in the morning having coffee. Yeah, we're having coffee. Instead of an adult beverage. So, welcome. Uh, we got across Lake Oneida. Uh, no yeah. locks, a little bit of choppy waves, but. Nothing real. The last time, yeah. the first time we went across Lake Oneida when we were just starting out, it was pouring down rain and we could barely see the land on either side. This time it was cloudy, but it was a very nice uh, ride over yeah. here. But tell them why we went uh, in the pouring rain. <laughs> it's because we had a steering issue that we kind of had fixed, but wasn't sure, and we did not want to. <laughs> go to Sylvan Beach dock and then the next morning not be able to go. So while the boat was running last time, we came across Lake Oneida to get to a place. We stayed at uh, Winter, Winter Harbor. Harbor last yeah. time and uh, troubleshot that one. But this time was got to experience Sylvan Beach as you saw and uh, got across Lake Oneida. Now, once we got in here, <clears throat> we figured out what fuel we needed. So remember I was talking about having that fuel balanced out by the time we got to Alexandria Bay. So sat up there and kind of figured how much fuel we were going to need from Brewerton to uh, Alexandria Bay and what tanks to put it in. And so did the math on that. And uh, we got here, took on some fuel, <clears throat> just a little right. bit of fuel. And then once we got docked in here, uh, and it was magical. It was like, wow. Magical. The, it was, yes. <laughs> it was magical because the wind was actually blowing 15, yeah. gusts to 20. And they have a pretty good current. Yeah, and there's a current running against here, us. And we were going to stern in, and I thought, oh, well, okay, at least it's a wide slip. But yeah. just as soon as I started the engines after fueling, <laughs> like the wind disappeared, like this automatic. You know, Kong oh. came over, and we backed in and got in. Yeah. And oh, but wait, let me tell you. I'm I'm thinking <laughs> about putting this uh, video out for for you all. I haven't decided yet. It's how I screwed up our fuel situation. I threw the breast line to Tammy that was there, and she tied us up where the bow line supposed to go right so i was thinking okay we'll be fine because i got a line here and she tied us one on the stern yeah, and we were all this. good yeah. then as he's talking about the wind that made me remember because the wind hit us and our whole boat we're trying to get fuel here right our whole boat is starting to go away from the dock I'm like what's going on yeah and i we're thought tied up. i thought you had the bow line on there and i thought well gosh she must not have tied it onto the cleat you know it's, it was it not tammy it was, it like, was me anyway so, so what not to do what not to do yeah. make sure you give them your bow line yeah, yeah. so once we got that done, but, <laughs> but you did get right into the slip yeah. uh very yeah. nicely. And then uh, once we got into the slip, uh, the mechanic was here, and uh, he took lunch. I mean, right here. Right, yeah. We barely like, got, you know, got set in, up and settled, everything. Got settled, went up, uh, registered right. with him, and the mechanic was down here. And yeah. we started on a number of things that I just elect not to do myself. And I know a number of you will go like, hey, you ought to learn how to do these things yourself. <laughs> I am learning because I work with the mechanics. To do the things, uh, air hey, filters. If you don't want to do them, don't, don't do them. Want to you do don't them have to let anybody I, I, make you I explained, feel like you have. To. I explained before is that hey, you know, usually if I fix something, I may fix it right, or I might break something else. That's more true. So I'm willing to work with a mechanic <laughs> and learn. And each time I learn something, I feel a little bit more confident about doing things. But uh, changing the air filters, I could change the air filter on one engine, but it was a little bit cumbersome to do the other one and well, so it tight, was right? yeah even even he needed you know an extra hand to mm. do that so handing tools and learning and talking and then fuel filters as well uh doing that and just chatting about things now we had a backup camera <clears throat> that has not been working for about probably oh, four months long time. yeah a long time so it was time to test that, and a couple of things that we did was, well, first we switched the cables between the the engine room camera and the backup camera, and it wasn't the chart plotter or anything like that. We did a continuity test. We did make sure we had power at the camera. So once we figured out it's the camera, I called Garmin, 
<clears throat> and uh, I, I really like Garmin support, 800-800-1020, and uh, that's the phone number. I have it memorized. <laughs> they, if they're, if they're too busy, they will say, hey, leave a number, we'll call you back in between 40 and 48 minutes it was. I'm going, well, that's pretty good. And you can almost set your watch to it. They'll call you back and uh, know the prompts to get to the right person as you go there. For Marine, it's five, and then I think it's four for, you know, chart plotters or cameras, whatever. Listen to the prompts, get to the right person. And really, I get, <clears throat> it seems like I get the same guy every time I call Michael. Michael. Yeah, uh. Michael. So <laughs> Michael looked up the cameras, and sadly he said, well, those cameras are out of warranty. They're a two-year warranty. And I said, well... <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. Uh, I said, they haven't been working for four months. And he goes, well, they're $500. And I said, wow. And he goes, but wow. what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do an out-of-warranty replacement. And so for $125, we got a new camera. Hmm. I have to send the old one back, but we got a new camera. I don't know what they do with the old one. They probably try to maybe see if there's any parts they could use with it. But that should be fixed because the camera is going to be sent to Alexandria Bay oh, and uh, also the, um, I guess we have to send the other one back. There's a package yeah, to send the other right. one back. You get a refund and so, for that. So we'll have that one taken care of. So we got all those maintenance things done and then Filters they have a courtesy car yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was and so nice. got out, got a haircut. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah. That was Look, really good. good. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> It feels good to get a haircut after a while, you know, you, you can't get to a barber or whatever. <laughs> we also were contacted um, by a YouTube subscriber, her name's Charlotte, and she picked us up and we had a fantastic lunch. Oh my gosh, lunch. we had a great time. Yeah. Uh, they are planning the loop, uh, her and her husband Bob are planning the loop in a number of years here when he retires. And uh, she took us to lunch. Yeah, and we just it's called had... a place called Hot House Brewery, and it it looks like a nursery that you go mm -hmm. that you're when you're driving by. But they actually brew their own beer in the back, and it's greenhouses and and beautiful flowers. It's fall here, yeah. so there were pumpkins and mums, and yeah, it was it's just really, beautiful. Really nice. and, and neat to get the um, you know. Just visit with somebody, a subscriber, and uh, just yeah. a delightful meal. And uh, she also gave us a gift bag. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. So Fancy just champagne. Just really, uh, really had a great local time. Cheese. So, and, and they live yes. in the local area, so it was really neat. Right. Uh, also, then we went over to, because <laughs> last loop, we this is another marina that we're not going to stop there today or whenever we leave to go on. Uh, but Pirate's Cove Marina yeah. in the town of Clay. Family run marina, Paul and Patty over there, and Taylor, the mechanic, they do a great job. Mm -hmm. We left the boat there last year. So we got a ride over there to see them. Yes. And then we also uh, reconnected with them, and we found Peter and Mary on their boat, Silence Rising, mm -hmm. and had a drink on their boat. And went up, had dinner, and then they brought us back here because we couldn't find an Uber. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it took us a while to get an Uber over there. So I was saying, Sam. Do you think this is a good idea? Because we had such a hard time getting yeah. the Uber. Sure enough, we get over there. We're finished with dinner and <laughs> no Uber. Yeah. So um, graciously, yeah, Peter and Mary brought us back here to the marina. I told them I would give them five stars for that ride over. <laughs> the highest rating you can get. Yeah. But we couldn't use the courtesy car. Somebody else had the courtesy right. car. And we wanted to get over there before uh, Pirates Cove mm -hmm. closed up in uh, Sea Paul and County. So it's been a great uh, stop here, it and has been. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to move on, but uh, that's the way it is on the loop. Eventually, yeah. you have to move on. So Well, this is unusual weather in New York at this time of year. They said it's usually cloudy and rainy in September here, mm -hmm. and it, that this is very unusual, but we have had so many sunny days. It, the high is going to be close to 80 today, and a, wow. again tomorrow. Oh so yeah. we are loving the weather. And um, yeah. They usually say by Columbus Day the weather might start to change. So that's October 12th, and we'll be gone by then. So 
Oh. Anyway, thanks for well, joining this us. This was a very unusual dock tales because you're getting it on the back end of our yeah. trip instead of right after we dock. But uh, so much happened that we couldn't have dock tales that. I know, like, we're just <laughs> rushing, rushing, rushing. <laughs> So uh, another shout out to SK Yards here, who were just mm -hmm. fabulous. Uh, Cam and Tammy, uh, and, and also Ethan, Ethan the right, mechanic. The mechanic. Uh, just wonderful people, and you could kind of see why they uh, won the sponsor of the year for the American Great Loops Cruisers Association. Uh, so just a, a wonderful place to stop here. So highly uh, recommend this stop on America's Great Loop. All right. Well, happy docktails. All right. Till next time. See ya. Thank you.